oaks. So, uh, judging by these imprints, we can't state for sure that this is a chariot, a true chariot, or a standing chariot. It may be uh, with the same uh, degree of um, possibility, it may be uh, just a, stand, a sitting, um, two-wheeled, uh, horse-drawn uh, cart. Not for standing people, but for sitting people. This is science. This is not uh, the question of uh, belief or, or a religion. We, one should be objective uh, judging these uh, archaeological facts and not making pseudo-facts of them by uh, pseudo-interpretations. Uh, and again, when we are talking about um, Chinese archaeology, we know for sure that uh, there were two main kinds of transport in, uh, China, in ancient China, starting from the Shan Epoch. Firstly, it was a true uh, chariot. This is the reconstruction, a scientific reconstruction of the chariot of the 6th century, Henan Provincial Museum. Um, you can see here very clearly all the details. They are not um, fictional. They are all from the excavations. So there were traces of these details in the soil. So we can see wheels, spokes, hub, um, axle. We can see chariot uh, body. We can see this special railing or handle for the standing. It is very important. Standing charioteer to stand while moving on the chariot. We see here a uh, draft pole, we can uh, see yoke and so on, yoke saddles. Um, <clears throat> this is true uh, standing chariot. This is the first kind. Then we, uh, this is also uh, the reconstruction, how it uh, could look. So three people standing in it. Uh, one is uh, the charioteer and two warriors, uh, chariot warriors, uh, shooting and killing people from it. But at the same uh, site and at the same culture, uh, m many times they uh, uh, have um, excavated, uh, they have discovered the other kind of the um, vehicle. And this is not a true chariot, because it has very low railing system, very low handle, and only people uh, kneeling sitting on their knees could use them as handle while moving the chariot. So this was not the true chariot. And people uh, couldn't, charioteers couldn't stand uh, onto the body of the, this uh, chariot uh, while moving uh, and uh, shooting at the same time or killing people with a spear or some axe or with the same time. So it was impossible. So it was not a battle chariot. Why is it important? It is very important because we don't know what kind of transport uh, was buried uh, in Sintoshta, uh, Petrovka, Alaska. Akulandronova, uh, so-called uh, pseudo uh, chariot burials. Either it was this kind, or it was this kind. We just don't know. Was it a standing chariot? Was it a, a chariot uh, for? Uh, was it a cart for seating? We don't know. And we are scientists, we are scholars, we can't interpret the material without having enough scientific base, enough scientific evidence. But what do they do, starting from the, uh, say, uh, one, uh, 1975 year, 45 years already, uh, they have been interpreting these imprints as the uh, traces of the true chariot. What is more important? Uh, we can uh, not use the um, analogy here, uh, saying uh, there were many chariots in many cultures across Eurasia, the old world, uh, including Egypt, Libya, and so on uh, in general, because uh, it was the age of chariots, but it was also the age of carts, horse-drawn carts, equi-drawn carts, uh, bull-drawn carts. Not being chariots, not being true standing chariots, the same. And uh, what is more important, in Assyria, we have true standing battle chariots. Many, many reliefs in British Museum, Louvre, and so on. Uh, 
uh, all these are in my book. Uh, but we also have Assyrian reliefs uh, with um, Elam, Elamian, um, ancient Iranian uh, cuts not being true chariots. So Assyrians battled with this Elam people having these cuts. And these cuts, they are depicted on their reliefs uh, at the same uh, places with their chariots. I, I will show you um, some examples to understand this uh, and to make this point clever. Clever. Uh, clear, I'm sorry. Um, here. Um, let me move San Sanoli chariot. Yes. Uh, for example, this one. This is the battle relief. So we can see um, here we can see a Syrian chariot. This is a true chariot, battle chariot. You can see it very clearly. So we see the wheel, the spokes, the body of the chariot. We can see uh, four warriors standing in it. A chariot here and three warriors, two with shields and one with uh, uh, an arrow, shooting at at what are they shooting? They are shooting. They are shooting at an Elamian uh, cart, horse drawn cart. You can see it very clearly because the horse tail. It is not the mule. Uh, it is not the uh, ass tail. Kur uh, tail, kyang tail, uh, or so on. We can see very clearly that this is the true um, horse drawn cart. It also has a wheel with the same kinds of spoke. It, 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 it even has um, a railing system at the sides. You can see it here when we uh, move it closer. So, railing. Side railing. So, but it was open at the back and the front and it was sitting. We can see very clear that it was sitting and you see people shot by the Assyrian archers in it. It is a battle. And this cut, not being a true chart, is used in a battle. Uh, we have more. I, I have found only uh, four uh, reliefs with these examples of um, an equid drawn, horse or mule drawn, but not as drawn uh, cut, uh, not being a chariot. Here we have battle troops, because we have uh, horsemen, we have uh, soldiers, and we have at the same time archers. You can see it very clearly here, and they will move here. We, we see archers moving in these carts. They are seating. Archers, we, we, we can see art. Uh, and uh, railing again, you can see. And also archers. They are warriors. It is not just carts for transportation. They use them in battle. At the same time, at the same place, two cultures use two different kinds of vehicles. Spoked vehicles, horse-drawn vehicles, two-wheeled vehicles, but one is a true battle chariot, and the second is not a chariot at all. It is a cart, a horse-drawn battle cart. We can move, we can define it so. But who can state that Sintoshta, Alaku, Landronova, Petrovka burials with only the imprints of the um, lower third of the spoked wheel and two or three uh, uh, examples of uh, the hub are the true chariots, but not this kind of uh, the cart. It is science. It, it is not the guessing work. One being a scientist uh, can't uh, state that they were chariots. And now let's look at this. Uh, let us look uh, at these so-called chariot burials. I will show you uh, very clearly uh, and just compare. Firstly, just to compare. These are true chariot uh, burials of China. One of them, 4th uh, century BC, uh, Chu Kingdom, southern uh, China. It is just one of them. You can see very clearly, this is the true chariot burial. But it, at the same time, we should uh, measure the, uh, how high are the uh, body to state for sure that this is not just uh, a cart for sitting in, in, onto it, but a true battle chariot. You see, it is very difficult to prove even having uh, the very good uh, uh, traces of the whole system of the chariot uh, structure. Here, for example, 
And now turn into uh, Ural, uh, Ural's, uh, Ural Mountains, turn into Kazakhstan, turn into the last centuries of the third uh, thousand BC, the first uh, middle uh, centuries of the second thousand BC, of the steppe archaeology. What do we have in them? We'll see what we have. We have, for example, this is the chariot burial. Is it a, a true chariot burial? What we can see here? Only two traces of the wheel pits. That is all. What was placed there? Was uh, a cart placed there? Was a true chariot placed there? Was just, uh, were just two wheels with an X uh, between them? Or on the X, uh, or on the X uh, placed uh, there? We don't know. We are scientists. We should uh, judge uh, by what we see, but uh, not by what, what we want to see, not by what we desire to see, wish to see. We want uh, Aryans to originate from the steps. Okay, very good. Just take this and make it a, a chariot burial. I, I state that this is not a chariot burial because we have no the body of the chariot here. We have no the railing system here. We have no even the draft pole here, yoke and so on. Only just two imprints. And most, uh, most, please uh, move here. Uh, I will just show you. This is Sintoshta. Uh, again Sintoshta. Sintoshta. Here we have spokes. Okay, very good. We have two spoked wheels. That is all. But we, uh, at the same time, have two more or even maybe three more uh, wheel pits. What does it mean? And what do they do? <laughs> they, they state that this is a battle chariot. Not just a chariot, but battle chariot. You see, the, true, the truth uh, is, is that they have only, only only this part of the structure. Can you show it? Yes? So, but they make it looking like this, like a battle chariot. Why a chariot? Why not a cart? Nobody uh, asks and nobody answers. So, that's uh, why I state that there are no no at all. Look at me. There are no at all chariots uh, recorded in the burials with the cards of the imprints uh, of the wheel, of the lower part of the wheel with some spokes and hubs or one or two um, examples of the wood from the decomposed uh, bottom of the body of some unknown type of cart in the Sintashta, Petrovka, Andronova, Alakul, uh, Bronze Age uh, cultures, uh, burials. No, no chariots at all. Just uh, try to understand me. I am a historian by my education. I am an archaeologist by my education. And I was taught, like oh, oh, many of us, that they, are that they were chariots, that they are chariots. chariots. And only after 27 years of the beginning of my study at university, I realized, looking at Sanoli uh, chariots, chariot burials, true chariot burials, and then uh, comparing them with uh, true Chinese uh, burials, and with the depictions of uh, uh, the chariots and carts, uh, horse-drawn carts uh, sp with spoked wheels, uh, in battle uh, with in, in the British Museum reliefs that uh, they are not chariots. They are not chariots. We have no traces of chariots in the step of the Bronze Epoch, Bronze Epoch at all. Just try to live with this idea. So, and this is uh, the, uh, the message of my book and I want English-speaking readers to understand that this is not just a book on chariots or cards or, or some critic, uh, critical book. Uh, it is, um, as I estimated, it is a revolutionary book because it gives a totally different uh, point of view, a totally different uh, idea of interpretation. 
nobody in Russian speaking uh, archaeology ever tried to think so. I am the, f the very first one to do this and I uh, just uh, share it with you. <laughs> So that's uh, all I wanted to tell you about this uh, book. Uh, I hope uh, you will find the illustrations uh, in it interesting and you can use online uh, translators to translate the text. It's not uh, very difficult uh, in, uh, um, in our time. Um, that's probably all. I I'm sorry for my mistakes. Uh, I, I, I see they are numerous. Uh, because English is not my native uh, tongue. And uh, I thank you, my uh, young daughter, Sophia. Sophia, thank you very much for you. And uh, maybe see you next time. Maybe not. I don't know. Bye-bye.